Aquarius, what is going on, my dears? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot, and I am back at it again, one time for the one time, yes indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of August 2020, show me the money energy, shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of you guys that has clicked, like, shared, or subscribed to this video or any one of my videos that I've ever posted in the past. Thank you guys so much for all the love, share, and support. You guys, you guys, Aquarius, why are you believing them? Delirious, baby. We're going to be getting into some wonderful, wonderful energy today. If there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with me, only thing you need to do is click the About tab on my YouTube page, all right? You'll see my pricing list and how to contact me. So we normally do readings on Instagram and in video chat. Um, so once you purchase the reading you reach out to me there and then we'll uh do your reading as scheduled if you do not have instagram um just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com and i'll get you all set up with um google hangouts so we can do the video chat reading um google hangouts is an easy free app to download only thing we need to do is exchange emails okay so if you have any questions, again, just contact me on either Instagram or on uh, scorpionreds at gmail.com, okay? Uh, thank you to every last one of you guys who has sent some love and support to my page during, you know, the COVID shutdown. Thank you to every last one of you guys who has booked a personal private reading that is um sent support through cash app through paypal who has um donated decks um we have a lot of new decks here and it's all thanks to your love and support so i appreciate every last um you know show of respect and appreciation to what i do so if you would like to support all that information is over on the about tab as you know we always give thanks before we get into the reading so let's do so father god thank you so much for bringing us here thank you so much for your heavenly divided and guided hand i thank you so much for dividing us and separating us from everyone else and just giving your special attention to us right now father god you have been strengthening us and just shining your amazing grace on us during this time father god we appreciate all of your teachings and we appreciate how far you were just you know reaching you know us you know where we're we're moving far and we're just you know constantly determined to take progressive steps towards our destination of greatness and father it's all because of you and you're just constant nurturing over us and our likeliness and our skills and our abundance so father god thank you so much for all of the blessings that you've given us all of the lessons that we've received and thank you so much for all of the you know future abundance and and, and and givings that you have yet to lay on our footsteps and our path. Um, please give us guidance for Aquarius for August 2020. Thank you again. Amen. All right. So, I am going to lay some cards out. Blind. That's what I just started to do. Because I had um, personal. And I was like, let me just, you know, lay it out blind. Because normally I just let them flip out. and think. It was something about that blind reading that I liked. So we're going to do that. So give me guidance for Aquarius for August. Thank you so much. Well, you got the speaker card right there. I'm going to go ahead and take that. All right. Mm. No, I'm just going to put it back. All right. The speaker card is like... Mm. I didn't say to put it back. But it's just... It's that card. I really feel like... I'm getting forgiveness. It's time to just like just speak forgiveness and walk away. Career change. Yeah, it's like it's like a moment of empowerment for you guys right now. It's like 
I feel like after all that you've invested in a company or after everything that you've done, um, but things are kind of like turned out the way that it did. Like, I don't think anybody ever in a life would have thought that things would be the way that they are right now, you know. But looking into the future, I feel like um, you guys are speaking forgiveness into the situation and kind of not just feeling just bad about the ordeal. It's just like, you know what, none of this was any of our fault. Like, it is what it is. Like, you know, I forgive the situation. You know, because it's not, I don't think that any of this shit is anybody's fault. Um, and it's just time to just focus your energy and on something new. I feel like the whole economy, the whole world is changing. So I think it's just time for us to change with the world, you know? Alright, I don't know why you got extra love today, but I'm just going <laughs> to do it like that. Alright, so Aquarius, it looks like right now, again, you are focusing on a career change right now. I think it's time for you to speak up. Um, and... Um, okay, I'm getting somebody is getting frustrated working from home. And there's just the industry. I feel like whatever industry you're in, you feel like it's failing. Like just certain things are just like going crazy right now. Just just things are just kind of going bankrupt because the market isn't the way that it is anymore. And I feel like you just need to speak and just speak up and just be like you know what it's not that i'm mad at you guys or just mad at anybody it's just the whole situation in the world right now is just unfortunate and it's just like if i've acted any type of way out of frustration you know i forgive you and i hope that you forgive me but i might be i'm putting in my resignation because i don't think i can do this anymore and i am focusing on a career change you know what i'm saying something that is more prominent for me and my lifestyle and what's going on with the world right now in the economy you know so I just I definitely it says you are embarking upon a career that brings you joy and abundance that you desire and deserve all of this stuff that's going on it's not by chance it's for divine purpose and it's for divine reason and um, I feel like a different skill a different purpose in your life is being illuminated right now and I know you invested a lot of time but it's just time for change what is this the river again your emotions is running wild your emotions is running deep you see how that you know stallion is right there I feel like that's something deep within the pit of your stomach it's just like I feel you felt more passionate about your career and your path and certain things like that when things were normal. I still feel like even when things were normal, situation was a little bit blurred. You know what I'm saying? Because of everything that has happened, I really do feel like this emotion, this river right here, I feel like your emotions are fluid. It's it's running rapidly and it's fluid it's like clear water you can see directly through it's translucent it's like it's running very fluid and running rapidly and just like galloping like you ever seen like a galloping stream like a galloping river you know um it's something that you're very passionate about that is just flowing through you right now and it's caught you and it's got you and your vision is a little bit blurred. You see how this is like a little blurred? I feel like your vision is a little bit blurred to who you thought you know and who you thought you were. Like maybe you thought you were a corporate person and now because of COVID and everything that's happened and how everything has changed and everything has affected your career, you're a chef now or you are a mixologist. You have a, a drink making business or you focusing a little bit more on your auto mechanic, you know, skills instead of you working in the office, you know, like you've been doing more odds and ends and, 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 and more, um, what is it, like maintenance type of things, you know, instead of, and like a lot of people are crafting and even growing crops, like a lot of people have been able to tend to their yard and their gardens, like a lot of you started landscaping business, just other shit that y'all are just amazingly talented and good at that I don't even think you've even bothered to think about it before, I feel like because especially if you guys have been doing things remote, if things have changed, I feel like 
your vision is blurred. Something that you used to have a passion about, you're no longer as passionate about. And I feel like in the pit of your stomach, this Mustang is in your stomach. You don't just, you know how you hear a Mustang coming down the street. You know what I'm saying? You know how you hear a Mustang coming. You know, so it's like I feel like there's some fast energy coming to you. Let me read the river. Where the river go? To places. So the river. It says the stream, the flow, the current. There is a reason so many rituals of change and rebirth take place in the river. It is forgiveness. I said that. It said it is forgiveness and body in physical form. Without asking anything in return, the river washes away what is no longer necessary, smoothing over sharp edges and accepting all of our mistakes and grievances. Once we step in, we are no longer in control. The river carries us farther down the stream of transformation than we plan to go. The waters have a special gift for reflection and reflecting and looking back to us a new and dreamlike vision once the tears have passed we see ourselves as we haven't before with a little more lightness grace and fluidity keep in mind that you stand within the river and the river is real within and for you full of deep emotion and potential nothing to hide nothing to judge you may drink in the sight of your true self. When enlightened means acceptance. It means grace. It means reflection. It means forgiveness. That and then I see the cancer sign right here. Well. When in the dark it means torment of emotions. Flooding. Being overwhelmed. So. Again. Like I said. I am so glad because I definitely don't know this deck. And I, I, listen, that was a confirmation for me. Hello, bitch. So listen, if your vision is getting blurred with something, I feel like it's a frustration and just a loss of passion. It's just time to just go with the flow and just let shit go. Let's see what this is. Self influence. So with this self influence being in the reverse, because I feel like this has very much to do with your career path and your life change this change in your life it, it you know i feel like you need to it's a self-influence focus on self self-worth a time to heal shadow work self-acceptance with this being in the reverse it's basically saying like i feel like you've been trying to put aside what yourself is telling you do you understand what i'm saying it's like you've ever been like working on a paper or a project or trying to write a thesis or something like that and it's like your vision is blurry you tired you don't feel like doing it no more like maybe when you first write you started writing it you was very passionate now like you at the last chapter it's just like you just tired you want to get it finished you're not putting your heart into it anymore it's like i don't even know if i even you know like i just it's 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 something about that vision is blurred that passion is just like i feel like i lost myself in doing this it's not even i, I lost myself and that's why this self-indulgent focusing on yourself and your self-worth it's time to heal i know you put a lot in this but i feel like you are galloping in your currents in the river and just you're naturally being driven up a stream that is more prosperous for, to you and I, I i really see longevity i feel entrepreneurship i feel ownership here that, that's what i'm getting let me see what is this the world's in the reverse and then you got the santa morte you got the death card so again this is the death card this is endings but as you can see, this person is pregnant with something, is expecting something. So it's like, yes, it might be hard for you to finalize and send that letter of resignation and end something. Because I really do feel like you're resigning to something. Because you have something new growing in you. I told you, it's something in your gut. And it's painful as it can be sometimes to release and let go to allow something new to grow. Like it, it's what naturally needs to happen because this thing that is growing in you is going to grow and grow and grow. And it's coming out sooner than later. Like it's coming out of you. It's seeping out of your pores. It wants to be seen. It wants to be shown. Like 
this world is not going to stop just because you're not ready for it. So it's like whatever you need to do, whatever you need to grasp, whatever you need to learn before this new phase in this new chapter in your life comes to a head. You need to do it and you need to address it and you need to look at it and you need to, you know, grab a hold of it. Because at the end of the day, it's like this is your journey and these are life lessons and at this point in time it's about you doing and taking advantage of I feel like you're having a chance to do something that you always dreamed of doing but never really had a chance to do and now you can do it you can literally change your career you can do what you want to do like this whatever it was became mundane and it's like something is falling on deaf ears it's like people don't hear you you don't lost your passion it's like it's time for this chapter to end to something new to grow and become beautiful let's see what this is heartbroken and then you got the phoenix in the reverse so again this is the heartbroken card this is the love deck so let's address love right here so Again, we're talking about change. Change can have something to do with finances. Um, I'm still getting finances and success in your career. So it's like, I feel like you're heartbroken that you have to walk away from something. But you have to do what's best for you. And this Phoenix being in the reverse here, I feel like this is a tough transformation for you. Because you're an Aquarius. We're fixed signs. We don't deal with change easily. Like... When we're fixed on something and we're loyal and we're given to something, like we really, really give it. And it takes time for us to learn how to release things. And it's just, I feel like you're heartbroken that you have to be estranged from something, somebody, something that you created with other people. It's just your world is moving in a different direction. And it just, I feel like it hurts you more than anything. But I feel like this thing is coming out of you. Do you see this? It's coming. It's in the pit of your stomach. This is right here in the root chakra. It's root, It's coming out. That's why you can't see things clearly. That's why your emotions is not flowing in the same way. That's why. It's like you're changing. You are embarking upon a career change that brings you joy and abundance that you desire and deserve. You know, so don't go against yourself with your body and your heart and your soul. Like it is coming. It is seeping through your point. It's coming out of you. Don't fight with yourself. And I know it's going to hurt because I feel like you feel like you're letting certain people down. But this is not just in you anymore. It says deeply hurt, saddened, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving and mourning. Like listen, it hurts to have to do it, but you have to do it. You have to do it. What is this? The Ten of Cups in the reverse. So again, this is showing a divorce, like an emotional separation, a separation of ties, like us, you know. I feel like anything. This is someone that's tossing stuff away that has any old emotional energy that was carried from something in the past. It's just like, you know, this is. A part of my life that I learned a lot of lessons from. I don't really need all those old clothes and all of them old memories from me being married or me being uh, work. This is like even if you worked at a job that you loved at one point in time and you used to wear a suit and tie and shit. And you used to kind of hate having to wear them hot ass suit and ties and shit. And just now you could kind of wear your little street clothes and dress how you want because you're running your own business and things like that. So it's just like I feel like. Looking at the dotted line and seeing how your life is changing after a divorce, a separation, um, you not recommitting or um, rededicating yourself to something. So you may not be renewing a work contract. You may not be renewing a love contract. You may not. You may, you may be moving out of the house and don't want anything that's in it. You know what I'm saying? It's something like that. Like you may be going over like. With this world card being in the reverse and the separation and the heartbreak and things like that. So it's basically showing that something is ending that everyone should 
it should it's a it's a hard lesson for everyone and everyone's having to readjust um everyone is having like this is like um visitations having to learn how to deal with child visitations and things like that and it's hard to have to explain this to the children and to everyone else that um you guys have parted ways and you guys are no longer in business anymore like having to explain to people um having to explain to people that y'all broken up and it's no longer a connection there anymore and it may be a sad situation but it was going to happen anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like having to learn how to readjust. What is this? The six of wands in the reverse. And again, this happened because you weren't getting the recognition. You weren't seeing the success. You weren't getting the praises. You weren't like people could have been taking credit for your hard work or not giving you credit for your hard work, not recognizing you at all. You just felt unwanted, unneeded, like undesired, like you just didn't fit in. You know what I'm saying? This is like someone feeling like the outcast in some in some type of way. So it's just like, you know, you don't want to listen to it's like I'm battling with people that are never going to see it for me. Like I have good ideas. I have good, you know, um, plans. I have a new structure. If y'all would just listen to me and they're like, but I, you know, no, you're at the conference room and no one is even bothering to look at you and, and, and listen to your presentation. Like even when you're up, up there presenting, like you can tell people are doing other things and they're not listening to you the way that you're attentive. And it's just like, I just, I, I, I just, this hurts me. You know, so anyway, excuse me, those are my kids. And then you got a lightning. So, like I said, this is a flash of inspiration, a flash of um. They're saying, I'm, I just, I just, again, a sudden change, and they're saying a flash of guilt. Like I feel like you guys have, you guys feel guilty almost for leaving someone and moving on with your life. I really do feel like that. What is this? The keys on the ring. Like you have other options. Like you're, you're, you're finally looking at the other options in your life and realizing that, you know, I don't have to sabotage my dreams and not look at what I really want and who I really want to be and what I feel like I amount to. Like not looking for the attention and the influence of other people to make decisions in your life it's like going on your own you know what i'm saying like finally getting this bolt of energy you know what i'm saying having a little twinge of guilt but at the same time listen realize that i have many more options now that i've opened up my mind and i open up my heart to just to be free to create something new like it's been hard to try to transform and be open to this because we're fixed signs with fixed energy but it says sudden change this says fixed change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So again, something suddenly changes that lightens up your life, that brings these options into play for you. And I feel like it changes your life a little bit and helps you be more influenced by yourself and what you need and what you want and not what's best for everyone else. What is this? The Page of Cups. So this is the message of new love. This is the message of your heartstrings being played with. This is something that is giving you a brand new boast of inspiration and joy of new birth. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Like uh, sexual intimacy, just emotional clarity. You know what I'm saying? Something brand new. A spark of new love and new joy. And I'm sorry, you guys, I'm moving fast. And you got the death card in the reverse. So you got the death here. So again endings for new beginnings the death card in the reverse means that now that something is over new things can come into your life where you can enjoy you finally took you know this and you cut something out so that you can be free so that new love and new joy can come into your life listen of course i gotta go my family is calling for me i love you guys love yourself and continue to go with the flow of your emotions and blessings in your life amen i love you amen